If you ever leave me go for video, I go follow you go the old wide world. Oh, Sandra. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling emotional. <laughs> Hi guys, ah, I'm about to leave the house, I just finished filming a video, what is in my hospital bag video and I remember that whew, I have an appointment with the doctor today so I didn't go for my weekly attinental, oh, it's past 5pm and this man has warned me not to come to the hospital late and today again now I'm going late so I would like to him that I did not come early, I will lie. Hmm? Let me start begging God for forgiveness on time. So, I'll carry you guys along if they allow me to vlog. Let me go and see what he has to say because, man, I'm tired. Hmm? Take a look at us. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. So, so tired of being pregnant. <laughs> But I will not jump time now. I'll have to wait for God's time. So I'm looking at myself. So I'm believing God that when the time is right, the baby will come down. Look at my neck, you guys. Skin tags. That's what I'm battling. So I'll carry you guys along with me. You guys, come and join me and eat. <laughs> you don't run. <laughs> Come and join me and eat too. Oh. I'm happy eating this food. Trust me, I'm happy. Yesterday when we went to the hospital. Okay. Yesterday when I uh, mm -hmm. you me. Yeah, okay. Just oh, it's on my mouth. Your mouth. Let me bring wipes for you. I'll lick it. You lick it. Mm. Then how do you clean your hand? Why my hand? Ha! You shame they catch me as well. Make sure they catch you. Come on, enjoy. I put my number one bitter leaf soup. That's what I'm enjoying. Ha! Eo CEO. Forget how CEO. How much is it in dollars? Forget CEO. Yeah. Now you lick hand like this. They lick. Ah. Okay, don't make me forget what I want to You make me shame. So. You make me shame. I will bring your leg come outside. <laughs> CEO, how much? In fact, I'll go, I'll go, I'll send a gift vlog, vloggers. <laughs> vloggers. I'll tell them, tell them, say, CEO, how much is it in dollars? Sandra's realities. Doing what? Licking hand. <laughs> licking, licking soup. I can tell you the lick soup. No, 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 no. Licking soup with your hand. Man was at the but before you marry me. But now he's so, a celebrity fam, fam girl now. Celebrity fam girl. Uh -huh. Cele celebrity fam woman now you be. You guys, this man is distracting me. Baby, come they go. I want to film. I want to talk to my people and give them updates. What do you think you want to tell them? Let's talk to them together. Hmm? I'll be your interpreter. Mm -mm. I want for you. Baby. You don't wear your clothes, they go bye bye. Go here. Yeah. Me and you want to come out. Anywhere you do, I go there, there. My sherry, Coco, I don't miss you. If you ever leave me, go for video. I go follow you, go the old wide world. Oh, Sandra. <laughs> oh, Sandra. Man. I know why you're happy. And that's what I'm about to tell them. Anyways, you guys. The good news is that we are going to be meeting Baby C tomorrow and I'm currently eating. <coughs> I have my bags ready and everything because I'm about to leave the house to the hospital. Um, we are checking into the hospital this night against tomorrow morning 
Um, I'm going to update you guys all of that because we don't have time. It's almost 8 p.m. I'm going to update you guys about the whole thing by the time we get to the hospital. So that's why my husband is just extremely, extremely, extremely happy, right? Uh, my sister is around, she's in the kitchen arranging the food that we take to the hospital. Since morning, I've been working trying to clean the house because when we went to the hospital in the morning, there was a change of plans. I'm going to update you guys on all of that as soon as we arrive and uh, check into the hospital. Possibly by tomorrow morning because I'll need all the rest and all the sleep I can get. So that is the update so far. So I'm going to carry you guys along. Let me pick up and eat this delicious soup. Hmm? So that baby too will enjoy himself. So stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. This is me welcoming you all back to a beautiful vlog. You guys already know that it's going to be a beautiful one. So don't mind me. Hmm? Let me eat, I'm hungry. Daddy? Daddy? Babe! Now me put this man, now me the final. Currently about to leave. See my bags. <laughs> See this one I'm taking this box and then I'm taking my tripod and my light I'm taking them and then who is my husband see my face by the time I'll meet you guys again I'll be at the hospital I'll be at the hospital <laughs> I'll catch up we are going to go and meet baby. Hello. Hello. I'll catch up with you guys. I don't know why I'm feeling emotional. <laughs> Wahala human being. Your matter don't tire me. Let's go, Joe, babe. See time. See time. See time. They just see what happens. I just got here. I just got here, oh. man. My husband and uh, my sister, they've gone to bring the things in the car. I told them to first of all show me the room where I'll be staying. Let me first of all see the room before I, before I do any other thing. So they brought me inside this room now. See where I am. Hey guys. Is leaving. He's leaving me. Yeah, yeah. Isn't me and my sister that will sleep tonight? Well, we are not as early, very early. Yeah, we are. Before, before, before that time, self. Twenty minutes before that time, you see me here. For no worry, then. We waiting for you, baby. <laughs> Is walk up, you are walk up, walk up, walk up. He broke the moon. Moon
Hey guys, so this is almost midnight. We checked into the hospital and have been trying to arrange one or two. My husband has left. He has gone back home because um, whatever that is going to happen is going to be in the morning, like early in the morning. So he's going to return back here. The thing is that for the past three days, because I promised to update you guys on what happened and the reason why I had to check into the hospital. So the thing is that for the past um, few days, I've been having contraction, but it has not been steady. It has not been strong. I've been having contraction, but it's not strong. And um, the truth is, that is how it was with Danny and Sammy. So um, I already know myself and I already know that mm, it's not going to be strong unless they induce me. So I had to come see the doctor and when he checked and I was already almost 40 weeks gone, he had to like let us um, try to help you facilitate the level a little bit. So that is why I had to check into the hospital today against tomorrow that they are going to be inducing me. So he said it's going to be very early in the morning. So that's why I'm here this night. I'm here this night against tomorrow morning. I've arranged every of my things. He said, according to him, 4.30 a.m. in the morning, they will induce me and monitor me until baby boy is here. So that is what happened after my last visit to the hospital to see the doctor because he actually sent me for scan while I was still having that contraction to check if everything was okay. So I went for that last scan and confirmed everything, confirmed the weight of the baby. And we are going to have a big baby, trust me. Our baby is quite big, according to what the scan is saying. Um, sometimes I look at myself and say, is it not this small for me? Where is the big baby? <laughs> is, it not, is it not this small for me? So I actually ate, shall you guys already know that? I chop, 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 chop for this pregnancy. So I usually have big babies. None of my children were less than three point something kg. Danny was actually four point something and Sammy was 3.5 I think so. So with this one now, the, the scan is saying 3.8. I don't really know but I'm believing God for safe delivery tomorrow. So my husband will be coming back here tomorrow morning. Now my sister is already here. She's over there sleeping and possibly by tomorrow morning I will inform my auntie Wayambahu is a no-go area. We are not going to tell her anything because she's hypertensive and telling my mom is just like killing her already. So I'm not telling her anything until when baby is here and I'll just call her and tell her that baby is here, okay? I'm just going to break the good news to her and not stress her at all. So that is the update so far. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. I just want to drink this uh, vitamin milk now and then rest my head a little bit because it's almost midnight so that i'll be fit for tomorrow okay i'll catch up with you guys later i'll carry you guys along with me from tomorrow morning so you guys this is 4 20 a.m in the morning on the very day that i had my baby and they had already induced me at this point and they said I should lie down for at least one hour before standing up. And my sister is here. She's just busy pressing her phone. And uh, we're waiting for the contractions to start uh, coming. And before you know it, you guys, contractions started coming. It was one hour plus, a bit close to two hours later. Yes, I think so. And then... I was still sitting down. I had to sit down while I tried to manage the contractions. They were just coming off and on gradually, like every 20, 15 minutes. And then at this point, I could no longer sit down. I had to stand up and started going outside. It was already morning, you guys. These are um, almost 10 a.m., I think so. I'll check the time and put it on the screen you guys can see that it was already coming that is one thing about me once i get induced 
that's it the contraction won't stop until baby comes so it was just coming and coming and coming i was still walking around i didn't want to sit one place i was still trying to help myself climbing the stairs coming down and trying to help myself so that labor will not be too long i came to the hospital with a flax filled with lifting and that's my sister trying to give me the lifting at this point my husband was already here because he went home last night and he was so restless seeing me go through so much pain and there was nothing he could do to help <laughs> so i was battling it here and my sister was busy telling me sorry and trying to calm me down it's not a journey that you help the person you can only say sorry even the sorry cannot do anything so one beautiful thing about me is that any time i am in labor and the contractions are getting serious i'll just hold something like hold one iron you may not even know that i'm in labor unless the contraction start coming and at this point the doctor has not even come to check me but trust me you guys i was already in serious pains i was already in serious pains the labor already kicked in like full time without being told i don't need anybody to tell me that i was already like four five cm dilated it is about let's say about four hours that they induced me and um it has been coming and going we are making progress so far so just let me update you guys my husband is here my auntie is on her way coming and my sister jenny is here but she's very tired because we woke up very early and she didn't sleep last night Construction still coming off and on, off and on, but now it's becoming more steady. So I'm not sure I'll have time to talk again. I'll see you guys later. So this is me going into the favor room. When I could no longer be at the pains, I sent the nurse to call the doctor and. Mm, Immediately he came to check me, he was like, you cannot be this calm and you are 5 to 6 cm dilated. So please, let him take you into the, into the favor room. So I had to change and tie my wrapper, sharp, sharp. <laughs> and I asked my sister to give me my mantle. You can see me placing it under my head, my shiloh mantle. That was all I came into the favor room with. I was battling the contractions here. My husband was here. My sister Jenny was also here. And at this point, my auntie has not come. I think so. Yes, she's not yet here at this point. So mm -hmm. I was still struggling and battling the contractions. And there was this amazing nurse, you guys there. Hmm. Always pray to meet a nice person anytime you're in labor. There was this nurse that was in the, in the favor room with me. This woman was just... This lady was just something else, trust me. God really used her. She was so patient. She was so understanding. She was even cracking jokes for me, trying to help me, trying to make me laugh. Like, she was so, so nice. You can see how she's trying to help me with every single thing I need. And she was even helping me to rub my back. Ah, this lady. Just God, I used her. Yeah. 
anyways i'm going to just you guys saw that happened maybe in a video or something like that but this lady god actually used this lady for me you can see how i'm resting on her and she was even trying to make me laugh and all of that but at this point you guys trust me no be me day here again no <laughs> no be me day again but we give god all the glory that at the end of it all it ended in praise it ended in praise the journey of nine months ended in praise i was trying to catch my breath over here oh my auntie is here my auntie is here and she gave me strength together with my husband in fact i don't know what to say you guys just continue enjoying the video So you guys, at this point, the doctor already asked everybody to leave. Uh, to leave the because he just came to check me and I was like 8 cm dilated. He didn't even believe it because he was like, you can't be this calm and be dilating. So every other person had to leave. And the next thing, you guys, my baby arrived. And yes, you guys, my baby is already here. You can see the nurse trying to dress him up. Oh, such a cute handsome dude that just joined my family just join me in thanking god the journey was not just an easy one i only showed you guys what i wanted to show you per time but it was more than what you guys saw on the street of youtube you can see the nurse trying to dress him up this is like less than 10 15 minutes that i put to bed they just cleaned him up inside then brought him to to my husband because they were all outside so i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video do not forget to like comment share of course subscribe to my channel seeing this handsome dude here that god bless my family with you have to subscribe please i'm begging you and i'm going to see you guys in my next one bye